Hey peeps, welcome to part six of my teleworking video series. Today we're going to be talking briefly about a couple of things. The first thing is a quicker way to clear the cache in all your web browsers. This means like deleting the history, cookies, etc., and the downloaded files for a web page. This is useful for keeping your computer running as fast as possible, but it's particularly helpful for those couple websites that don't want to load right sometimes and you just have to clear the cache, but you can't remember how, this way is a really easy way to remember how to do it. And we're also going to talk about a couple topics regarding video conferencing. The first is lighting, and the second one is webcams. Before we get into that, uh, I want to speak on a little bit about the human malware and how it's affecting people. A friend of mine's father died recently, and I want to remind folks that you check in on your parents, especially if they're more susceptible to the virus, if they're older, talk to them, because you never know. It was it was before coronavirus, you never knew when something was gonna be over, when people were gonna be gone from this earth and go to heaven. But this individual who passed, had it and beat it, but he was so weakened that his heart gave out. So that's, that's real sad, but, I want to remind folks that when you're wearing masks, it's not to prevent you from getting the virus, it's to prevent you from giving it to people because you may, may be asymptomatic. You can have it and not know it. Also, practice your social distancing and help out your loved ones that are more susceptible to the virus, like children or adults. Make sure they're taken care of and make sure they, they don't have to go out that much. Another example was my dad had texted me that the grocery store he goes to has limited hours now. And there was this one time that he was waiting in line to get in and they only let senior citizens earn, come in at a certain time. And then he will let everyone else come in at a later time. And there was somebody in their twenties that was not following social distancing rules and was getting too close to the elder, elderly people, blah, 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 et cetera. And I realized this was a stressful moment for him. So I actually gave up editing YouTube that night and said, you know what, you can call me if you want. And we talked that night because you don't want people to be overwhelmed with the stress of the situation. So moving on to the, the topic of what this video is about. If you want to see any of the previous topics, you just go to YouTube, type my channel, Robert Jean, J-E-N-E, -E, like this, or you can just click my name down below this video. And when you're here, the easiest way to get to it is to go to playlists. You see I've got things organized by subject and you go to teleworking from home. You can click right here, it'll start playing them all like this. But if there's a specific one you're looking for, you can just hit view full playlist. And I've got a little cheat sheet here. Part one, I go over taking breaks, making time on wine, connecting with people like I'm in talking to my son and, and my dad, et cetera. And Windows 10 taskbar, part two, about keeping your devices charged and rebooting stuff as needed. Part three is a good one where I set up my work PC at home. Part five is about being more efficient by using multiple browsers, updating your systems, planning and scheduling updates, et cetera. And part six is the video we're working on now. So let's get into the video. So earlier I was talking about you're using separate browsers and separating the workload. Have you ever heard of clearing the cache in a browser? If you've never done it, it's really bad because your computer is just going to get slower and slower and slower and slower. You also want to do this if a web page is having a problem and closing and reopening that particular web browser does not resolve the problem. There's a hotkey on your keyboard, which is the fastest way to find it in any browser. So start with Firefox because it's right in front of my face. Control, Shift, Delete. Time range to clear everything. And you can check your boxes and hit clear now. Now let's check out Chrome. Control, Shift, Delete. I want all the time. Check the boxes, hit clear data. Now let's check out Brave. Control shift delete. So it's just like Chrome, all time clear data. What about Edge? Let's see what its, it's one looks like. Control shift delete. 
time range, all time, browsing history, download history, cookies, cache images, files, password. Oh, I like this menu actually. Okay, clear now. <laughs> I just installed it and it's got a bunch of cache. That's funny. And they're telling me to download Edge. Apparently, opening Internet Explorer doesn't check if you already have Edge. Okay, let's load a page so you can know I'm really in the browser. Control Shift Delete. When you're clearing the cache at Internet Explorer, you want to uncheck Preserve Favorites Website Data. Because if you have a website that's giving you problems, and that website is in your favorites, it won't delete the cache for that website. Keep in mind, you don't actually connect to the Internet. You download it to your computer. And let's say whatever files you have that make up a, a particular web page aren't jiving with what the internet version is trying to do. You've got to delete your local version before you can download a good one. So uncheck that one. And you want these two at least checked. Temporary internet files and website files. Because websites are made of hundreds of files. Cookies and websites data. You also want to do this one because these are the files that tell your computer that you're logged into something. And what if one of those files that's not jiving with the online version needs you to go through the login process again? And there's no all or last hour option in Internet Explorer. You just do that. And then you close it. After you clear the cache in a browser, you have to close it. So you look everywhere in the taskbar. Remember earlier we talked about how to show everything in your taskbar. And I don't see Internet Explorer anywhere. I don't see it anywhere on the right one. So now I'm safe to open it again. Now we're going to talk about something that this channel is about. Webcams, mics, and lighting. If you're going to be using webcams to communicate with people via the internet. The following information will help you. I'm getting a gimbal so that I can make smooth shots of what I'm going to show you. So what we're going to talk about now is lighting. And I'm actually using a light behind the camera. And that's where you want to put it. If you only have one light, it goes behind the camera pointed at you. That's the simplest way to look at it. I'm about to show you the one that I'm using. But this is a good time to remind you to get subscribed so you can see more of these videos. And also, again, about the playlist, which is also down below the video. If you want to see a particular subject, I've got them all linked there for you. All right. So you can see I've got that webcam right there. That's my desktop capture. But then back here, I have a ring light. This ring light's down in the description. I'm going to have all the equipment that I use for various things down in the description. They are Amazon affiliate links. When I say something by name, you can actually just hit, hit Control F to search and type what I said in the box, or you can scroll and find it. So this is a ring light. See that? All I've done is use a clothespin with parchment paper to diffuse it because it's not diffused. I come off a little harsh and too bright on the face. and it is a kit that comes with a couple little tripods, but I don't have any space for the tripod here. So I've got this gooseneck clamp thing that holds it. And we've got two webcams here, so I can demonstrate the difference here. This is a 1080p one, and this is a 720p. This is a Logitech C270, and this is a C920S. Now, why I'm talking about these, they're like out of stock or crazy high price on Amazon right now. I will put affiliate links below if you want to check them every couple of days or whatever to see if their price goes down. So the point is, if you have one of these lying around, they're easy to mount on the back of a monitor. The instructions for mine came in the box and it's like a little foldy thing that kind of holds itself there on the top of your monitor. But most laptops have one built in and I'm going to show you how to check. If you go to your start button here, Click that and you just type the word device. See if you see device manager and open that. It, if you have an imaging devices section, expand that. And it'll tell you if it has, especially if it has a word webcam in there. Sometimes it's under a section called imaging devices. And you could just Google this to see what kind it is and what its specs are. Just put that name followed by the word specs, S-P-E-C-S. And you can also check if it has a microphone built in really easily by expanding sound. This one does. I'm not using it right now. I'm using my creative ZXR desk thingy. But back to past me. 
All right, this is a 1080p C920S, and this is a 720p C270, and this is both of them side by side. I'm going to cut that one back off. But you can see how the 720p one is good enough if I've got some backlighting for my face. If I turn off the backlighting, I look like that. I'll turn off this lamp over here. Just overhead light, I look like that. Now, here's just overhead light with a backlight behind the camera pointing at my face. And if you haven't noticed yet, I've got these blue light blocking glasses and they've been greatly reducing my eye strain slash headaches that I've experienced from working on the computer all day at work and then coming home or walking from the other room where my work PC is to my home PC and then working on YouTube all night. But the last thing I wanna talk about today about video conferencing is the, the importance of having a good mic. You can try using the mic in a webcam or the built-in one into a laptop and that might work for you, but you don't know what it sounds like on the other end. And there's a way, there's a trick to see what it sounds like on the other end. And that's why I use a power device and I have an affiliate link for it down below in, in the description. And I got my son a cheaper one if you click it and you think that costs too much. There's one that costs a little bit less called the Pop Voice. I'm gonna make sure I put that down below as well. Now, how you can test your sound is depending on which version of Windows 10 you have. So the newer one looks like this. You just open the start menu and don't click anything and type the word sound. And you open up sound settings. And right now I have this television that I have as one of my monitors because I'm poor people. Well, as the sound. And if I go back to Vegas here and hit play on the video I'm working on right now, I've got some backlighting in my face. I turn off the you might get a little bit of feedback in that. If I plug in my mic into that and then do that again, point it at that. I've got some backlighting in my face. So you see here a couple different. But the reason why I have that on is so you could see this. If you're trying to troubleshoot your microphone, the first thing you want to do is check which microphone you're using, right? And that's how you can choose which one of your main inputs it's going to use. Windows 10, older versions, and maybe Windows 7. You hit Windows button R on your keyboard, and then you type the word control, and your old style control panel comes up, and you type the word sound. You hit that, and then you get there, okay? So you're looking at recording, you can see the microphones are working because the peaks are going up, and you can see which ones are receiving sound. HD Pro Webcam C920, we know what that is from earlier. That's my webcam. And we've got the Creative Sound Blaster ZXR. And this is how you test and adjust the settings. So older versions of Windows 10, you want to use this menu. Newer versions, you want to use this menu. But it's basically like this. You click that, you hit properties. First thing you want to do is go to listen tab and hit listen to this device. Hit apply. Not good right now because I'm recording and it's into my speakers. It's better if you use headphones, lol. Then you can see what you sound like, and then you can adjust the levels to make sure that it's a, an okay volume so people can't hear you, but it's not super loud. But lol, well, that was like wah, wah, wah. Okay, so in the newer version of Windows 10, or you're in this menu like I talked about earlier, you can test your levels there because it could shows the peaks. And if you switch to a different mic, you, you'll see its peaks. There's the webcam, it's a little bit, lower input, you see that? Put it back on this. And if I go to device properties, is where I can control the levels in there, just like I was talking about earlier. And I'm gonna put a picture of a port that's on computers. Like if you don't have a mic and you buy a mic off of Amazon, whether it's like this wire thing, I just lay it on the desk. That works for me because people don't see a mic in front of my face because I, I I do video conferencing all the time. There's a port on the back of your computer that's got a little arrow pointing to the hole. That's line in. If it's got a little picture of a mic in next to it, that's the one you want. So if, you only, if you've only got two ports and one has an arrow pointing out, that's for headphones or speakers. And there's another one that has an arrow pointing in, that's for your microphone. But if you've got three ports, you probably have headphone or speakers on one of the ports and then line in on another one and microphone on the third one. You just look at the little symbol next to the hole and you'll know which one to use and then access the sound control, depending on which version of Windows 10 you have, to 
test your inputs and control the levels. And that's it. So that's it for tonight. I'm ready to sign off. I've been Robert Jean. I get subscribed so you can see the next video installment. And check out my other videos because this is only a one once a week video thing for me. And I usually upload four or five videos a week with about other stuff. Bye.